ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude. Today we're putting these AIs against each other to see who can make the best Super Mario 64 clone from scratch. Now for this video, we're going to be using ChatLLM by Abacus AI, which is the sponsor of today's video. With ChatLLM, you can use all of the top LLMs as well as image and video generation tools in one place. And the best part is that it's only $10 per month. There'll be a link in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. We're going to start off with GPT 5.2. Enable thinking mode. I have a prompt for it I came up with. And yeah, let's go ahead and send that. All right, eight minutes later, it's finally done. Let's copy this paste bro 2700 lines of code that's like the most i've ever seen on a first iteration let's see if it's actually good though okay so the game actually looked pretty solid but the only issue was that it was frozen so i asked ChatGPT to fix it and here's what it gave us nine minutes later what this is so laggy i'm in like two frames a second this is so laggy hey we can actually move now that's good let's see what we can do here all right boom oh i just took damage i think Bro, this is such a mess. I'm gonna just tell ChatGPT I'm getting one frame a second and hopefully you can fix it. Um, I, is this a, is this a little better? I can't really tell. Kind of feels like the same exact thing. We can change this value to 0.75, it says, to make it get more FPS, but let's see if that works. All right, bro, what is this? It kind of feels like the same exact FPS though that we've been getting. Well, yeah, that, that's gonna wrap it up for ChatGPT. Let's move over to Gemini now. Hopefully we get a game as a bit better performers than this. So now we just change 5.2 to Gemini 3 Pro, paste in our prompt, enable thinking, and let's send it. It's already done. We can actually just play it right inside of chat LLM here. So I'm not even gonna bother pasting it into the HTML. Click to start. All right, well, I'm pressing backwards right now. We're going forward. There's an obvious issue with the friction of the ground. Like when I jump, I move at a normal speed. When I'm on the ground, I go so slow. Oh, it says arrow keys for the camera. That's so weird. Let me try to get up onto this platform and um, see what's up here. Oh, bro, my jump isn't high enough. I can't get up here. Oh, I can get up there. Never mind. Wait, I can just crawl these slopes. It's not. Yo. Nice. Wow, what a jump. Whoa, bro, he's just floating. What is that? I wonder if I can kill him. How am I supposed to kill this guy? He's massive. I cannot jump on him. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's hit me. I'm running low on health now. Oh, no. I'm 1 HP. I'm dead. Wait, how am I not dead? I'm out of like, I'm out of power. I should be dead right now, but I'm not. I don't know if it's possible to kill him. That's not a bad first level at all. Let's ask Gemini to make some more levels here. When I walk on the ground, I move way too slow. Make Mario's jump higher. Also, right now the boss is unkillable, so fix that and add another level. All right, it's made all the changes. Proper movement physics, jump height, boss logic, and a new level. Let's see how good it really is. Okay, yeah, the movement feels a lot better. Oh, one more hit and you should be gone. Yes, we did it. All right, I want to go to the next level now. Where's that at? How do I get... Oh, there it is. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, no, this is level one still. Hold on, what? Oh, here we go. Lethal Lava Land. Oh. All right, we're here. It's literally just the same boss. He's gone. And I got the star and nothing happens. All right, so I just told it to remove the Lava Land level and to add more specific Mario 64 levels like Womp's Fortress, Jolly Roger Bay, Cool Cool Mountain. So let's see how it does with that. Oh, this is like the hub right here, I suppose. Let's go on the blue one. Jolly Roger Bay. What am I supposed to do here? How do I, how do, I do anything? This level sucks. Get me out of here. Right, let's try this level. Cool Cool Mountain. This is cool. Okay, jump off of here. It's just a snowman. Do I kill him? No. Okay. Whoa, this kind of blows. Now let's do this level. Womp's Fortress. Here we go. This one's actually like the best out of all of those ones. And it doesn't like clip me through the floor, so I can't... Bro, I'm like stuck, man. All right, you know, Gemini did its thing here. I, I think Gemini's version is pretty cool. It's not perfect, but you know, not, not bad, not bad at all. Now let's select Claude Sonnet 4.5. Enable thinking. Put in our prompt. Well, let's get it. I have to move the camera by pressing I, J, K, and L. Never seen that before in my life. I don't know how to feel about this one, bro. Because when I move the camera, I'm still like moving and I, I press W. The direction I go in doesn't change based on the camera, which is so annoying. Dude, this sucks. Claude, what are we doing here? I'm going to just ask it to add the same levels as we did for Gemini. Oh, wow. We actually have a level selection menu here. Let's start out Womp's for for Fortress. What are these like random coins just scattered around? That's fun. Okay, back to menu. Jolly Roger Ray. Um, I like the terrain. I, I like the terrain. That's about all I can say about this. What is, dude? I think the water looks pretty cool too. 
Alright, cool, cool mountain. I guess I have super sonic speed on this level or something. What? Alright, bro. Claude, not it, not it, not it. Alright, so you probably realize I use Claude Sonnet 4.5 instead of Claude Opus 4.5. And Opus is the better model of the two. So it wouldn't be fair if I didn't use it. But of course, I realized that when I was editing the video. So, but I, I tried to give Opus a chance here and I gave it the same prompt as the other ones. Here's what it was able to make. The Goombas actually kind of look realistic. Boom, boom. You can stomp on them. Got the chain chomp. Kind of like dashes at us, but kind of doesn't go very far. Yeah, what's unfortunate about this one is that we cannot get up here for the boss fight. Like, if I try to get on these, I can't. I'll just go right through it, clip through it. Hey, what else? What, what can you do? Oh, shoot. Wait, what? Oh, my God. I just tell. Whoa. Mash space to escape. Oh, my God. I just teleported up. What just happened, dude? He, like, grabs me and he's throwing me off. All right. So with all these versions, I think Gemini obviously takes the dub here. Definitely the most fun out of the three. ChatGPT's is just so laggy, but honestly, the visuals are probably the best out of all of them. I think Claude's is just too simple. So yeah, I'm gonna put ChatGPT first. I'll put ChatGPT in second, then Claude's gonna take third here. GG's only. All right, before we get going here, I have a couple more things I'd like to mention about Chat LLM. It supports image and video generation like Nano Banana Pro, Mid Journey, Flux, Soar 2, VO 3.1, and Kling 2.6. It has a humanized feature that makes your text sound more natural and helps you avoid AI detectors. You can create professional presentations with graphs, charts, and deep research content. You can build full stack apps, SaaS, and websites from simple prompts with the Abacus AI Deep Agent. That same Deep Agent can basically do everything from technical reports, travel plans, and even short videos. You get the Abacus AI Desktop Coding Agent and Editor for free, which actually beats Claude Code and GPT-5 on benchmarks. You can easily invite your team, manage them, and share your conversations. You can connect enterprise connectors like Slack, Teams, Google Drive, and OneDrive to create your own chatbots. And it's only $10 a month, which is cheaper than paying for all these different LLMs separately. So visit chatllm.abacus.ai or click the link in the description and pin comment. Thanks again, ChatLLM, for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.